It was 36 degrees Celsius outside and the sun could not have shone brighter. But in the Asaitona residence in the town of San Pedro, just south of Manila, you'd never guess what time of the day it was. The heat of the summer could be felt inside the house alright, but none of the sunlight could get in. In every corner of the house, there was just darkness. Even if you just want to get some water, you'd have to turn on the light. It had been that way for years, but that's about to change. Demi Bukas and his sons have come to install lights. Not like the electric bulbs they already have, but ones that are cheap, healthy and energy efficient. People in this community used to never see the light of day in their homes. But with a soda bottle, water and simple tools, they never have to live in darkness anymore. The technology is amazingly simple. All you have to do is fit a metal sheet around a plastic bottle, fill it with water, add chlorine, bear a hole on the roof, insert the bottle, then seal it. And there you have it, 55 watts of clean and free solar light. This is the light of life. It's really great to be able to see your house and move around without having to turn on the lights during the day. The genius behind the idea is social entrepreneur Ilak Diaz. Since the project began over a month ago, solar bottle lights have been installed in close to a thousand households. It's becoming something that is becoming the, the new standard of living here. Why should we be trapped in darkness? when we can now have the independence to improve our own households with cop you know, copyable and, and, and such a replicable kind of system. The system not only provides natural lighting, but it breeds new life to plastic bottles that otherwise would have ended up in dumps. It also aims to create so-called green jobs. Demi earns a little over a dollar for every bottle light he installs. Business has been so good that he had to quit his job. Almost everyone wants to have it. Demand has been so huge that I have to tell others to wait when I run out of materials. He was also one of the first ones to have solar bottle lights installed in his house. And the savings have been significant. Before, there were times when we didn't have electricity because we couldn't pay. But with the bottle lights, our electric bill has become more manageable. If you can use green technologies to save essential pesos, it can go into better things like books, nutrition, and, you know, livelihood. Ilak hopes to be able to light one million homes in the Philippines by next year. And in the future, take it to other developing countries as well. A third world solution to third world problems. Barnabilo CCTV, Manila.